Hey guys, welcome to my video. So I have just been tagged by the lovely Willow Biggs I am on a tag video, Random Questions 2018, and I thought it was quite fun. Um, I really enjoyed your video, Willow, so I had to have a wee try. And um, yeah, so I have just taken a wee note down of all the questions that Willow answered, and I'm going to answer them now. So if you want to go and pop on over to Willow's channel where the original tag video came from, I'll put it in the description bar below, and um, I will tag everybody. So, it's totally generic. If you want to have a go, have a go. Um, I'd love to watch it. If you do, let me know on Instagram or email. And let me know that you've done the tag so I can go and watch it. Alright, so we'll just get into it. What are your nicknames or do you have any nicknames? I do not. Um, I'm just Michelle and sometimes, well my dad used to call me Shelly Poo or Eggshell. That's it. No other nicknames. Weird Habits. Yeah. I'm pretty weird in general, <laughs> but just in general, like I don't think I actually have weird habits that I can totally think of. Weird habits. Mm. No, I don't think I have. Like sometimes I might self-sabotage myself. So if I think I'm going in somewhere and that there's a possibility of failing, I kind of like pull out then and self-sabotage the whole thing. Where if I had just done it, I might have got through it. But that might be a weird habit that I do. And I know I'm doing it. I can see myself doing it. And I'm thinking, just do it. Because <laughs> you might actually like do well in this. But then I just don't do it and say, oh, this happened, so I couldn't do it. It's kind of weird. But there's probably loads more because I am quite weird in general. Right, okay. Any phobias? Yeah, I do. I um, have a phobia of spiders. I do not like spiders. I would never hurt a spider. But I can never pick one up. If there's one in the bath, if there's one on the wall, then I have to get my husband to do it. I can't cope. And I have a massive, massive phobia of flying. Ginormous. Haven't been on a flight since 2009. And I really don't know if I can. I want to. It's life's too short to be staying in one place. I like to travel. I'm not a massive traveller, but I would like to go back to Memphis or America and do a lot of the sites that Elvis done in America, that would be amazing. Because Elvis never toured outside America, so, except for in the army. So, when you go to America, there's so many places in there that he's been, because he's been touring all over, the, all over the states. So I would like to do that. But, how do you get there? A flight. Okay, what do you sing? Um, I sing everything, I sing all the time. It's irritating, actually, to myself and others. So what I do is, I don't learn the words to a song, I actually just sing along with the song. And then I never know the words because I'm not actually listening to the song. I'm just like singing along to it and making up my own words. Which is really irritating to other people. But yeah, I would say that I sing everything. If it's a song I know, I am singing it constantly. And people do get quite annoyed. So if you see me in a concert, I'm usually hoarse. I can't speak afterwards because I have been singing that loud. As loud as the person on the stage. Uh, biggest peeve? I don't know. I don't think I have a biggest peeve. I think if you asked my husband, he would have tons about me. Because I'm the person who is untidy. Who, um, well Willow was saying, when like dirty cum cups come after she'd just done the dishes, that would be me. Leaving wet towels on the floor, that would be me. And um, what else did Willow say? There was a pet peeve. Clothes on the floor. That'll be me. <laughs> and my husband's none of those things. So I think pet peeves would be for him. What would be my pet peeve? Um, gosh, I don't know. I don't think I have any. Because I know how ridiculously bad I am, I really don't have a peeve for anyone else. Because <laughs> they're generally never as bad as me. Right, okay, nervous habits. I get these shooting pains rushing down my fingers when I'm nervous and I know because then I'll be thinking why I'm not even nervous inside but the shooting pains will come and they come right down right down there and so if I'm going to a doctor's appointment it's maybe something that I'm worrying about or if I've got an exam or I'm going on a flight way back when I'd have all these shooting pains coming down it's really really odd um, and when I seen my dad after he died I had total spasms in my hands and they went I, I couldn't control them. They went right back. 
and they were just uncontrollable and that freaked me out. So nervous kind of twitchy hands and shooting pains up my hands and my hands go kind of weird. So I'd say that's my nervous habit. Um, what side of the bed do you sleep on? My bed is here and I sleep on the middle. <laughs> I generally sleep in the middle of the bed, hogging all of the bed. But um, yeah, I probably lean more towards the left, no, the right hand side. I am dyslexic so my left and right are just totally, I do not know where they are. But um, yeah, the furthest over to the, the wall, furthest away from the door. That would probably be my space. Um, did you have a teddy? Yes I do, her name is Rachel and she's over there at the moment, I think. She should be over there. Where is she? Um, I made the bed this morning so I think she's tucked down the back of the bed. She's a rabbit and I got her when I was born from my, my auntie Ruthie and I absolutely love her and she's been with me ever since and she stays with me and she'll be with me forever I guess. Um, weird shower faces. No, I don't have a shower, I only have a bath which is devastating to me. Although my mum's got a new house now and she has a shower so I am sneaking showers at every chance I can get. But yeah, I only have a bath and weird bath faces are relaxation faces like this. <sighs> um, any weird body skills? Yes, I do. Right, I have not weird body skills, just weird bodies. A weird body. So like, I'm kind of bendy. I don't know if you can see that. So I can touch my thumb to here. <laughs> it's a wee bit bendy. Right, getting naked now. Well not. Right, now, and what I can do is, so, for example this. <laughs> How weird is that? So, if you just turn here, this is my hand up, right? If you can see it. Now, I'll keep that here, and it's still not moved. And see that? And I see how the bend? And that looks weird, doesn't it? And exactly the same on the other arm. Okay. So, this is hands out like this. If you can see. But then, you can do that. Now, I only ever noticed it when I was um, at the gym and I was doing weights like, like that. And the man said to me, Whoa, what's happened to your arms? It's so freaky. And I looked in the mirror and went, oh my goodness. Because they were all bending out at the sides. Very, very strange. I don't think I can reach. Yeah, I can. I can reach it a wee bit. But this one is more bendy. The thumb can go right across. Yeah. So that's kind of weird body skills. Comfort food is pie, potatoes and veg, tons of gravy or a roast, or a carvery, or a pizza, <laughs> you can see I'm on Slimming World, um, or anything like that, oh, sounds delicious to me. So yeah, any comfort food that is stodgy and luscious, I'm going to love it. Common sayings, mmm, I'm like Willow, I was exactly like you, it's slightly like mmm, or yeah, like bridge, bridge words, or bridge noises. So it bridge a sentence together, so you're like talking about something mm, and then you, and it kind of like bridges in between. So it's not a word, it's just kind of like a, like it joins up sentences. I do them a lot. But I also like awesome, uh, chick, uh, hun, love. So I like all that kind of stuff and endearments. And I did used to get t told off a lot because I trained as a nursing nurse. Don't call people <laughs> darling and love. Don't call the kids that. So um, I have stopped a little bit. But now I'm out of the profession and I'm a mum and a full-time carer. I've reverted back to type. Okay, and then this is my last uh, question, I think. What do I wear in the night time? And that is Chanel number no. 5. <laughs> no, I'm not Madeline. I um, wear nothing in bed except for my bra and my knickers. I can't because I get really, really hot at night. I, I sleep all year round even in the winter with the window open. Yeah, that's a weird habit. That's a weird habit. My room has to be like an icebox. I need it really, really, really cold. And then I jump into the covers and it keeps me warm. I, am, I only have a 13 tog, so that's how hot I get in the nights. So I really could never cope with a massive duvet, 
the radiator. Oh, since we moved into our house seven, seven years ago, I have never had the radiator on in the bedroom. That's a small little fact for you. That's a total bad habit. <laughs> right, so yeah, I don't wear anything. Because I would be boiling. I would really have a panic attack, I can imagine. Alright, so that is it for my tag questions. They are my random questions and answers for the tag of 2018 from Willow Fix. So thank you, hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about me and they were totally random. Please go and do it and so I can see if you do any blogs or you do it on Instagram, I don't know how you would do it there, or you do it on YouTube, let me know so I can watch it. Alright, take care, bye bye. Subscribe to my channel, Hello. comment below, press the bell button, thumbs up, thank you.